so this year, one of my New Year's resolutions is to draw more and create more art. And so I thought, if I'm going to be creating more art, then why not share it with you guys? So I want to use this opportunity to kind of go through or at least show these little videos of all my sketches and to kind of explain my thought process as I go through these. Um, in the future, I do want to get into like fashion stuff as well. So I can kind of go through um, how I draw clothing or even like why I decided to design what I did design and whatnot. So for the first one, I do have one that I've been working on for the past couple days. So let's get right to it. So I'm going to be kind of stopping and uh, starting the video and everything as I go. But here I just kind of do like a really simple outline at first with like a sketch pencil. I'm using um, Procreate to draw this this time. So it's still I'm still very early in the whole digital art process. So I make a lot of lines and it's not the cleanest whatsoever. But I'm hoping uh, as I go through these, I'll even see my process of getting better and better. So for now i do have kind of like an idea of what i am going to i'm trying to go for like what kind of pose i want what kind of um i guess figure i'm going for if it's male or female kind of thing uh i did want him to i, I decided on going with a guy and i wanted him to be holding something so i'm kind of trying to figure out where i want the hands and whatnot as well so that's just kind of a really 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 fast sketch of okay the fingers are gonna be like this i want this hand to be like kind of holding the bottom of it so how am i gonna draw that kind of thing um and then i try to get into the face was like oh wait no his jaw is like super short i don't like that so kind of adjusting that as i go and then i kind of wanted to give it kind of a um because the whole concept is i'm going for like a shinigami with was like grim reaper kind of thing but not like a stereotypical like man in a hood with a scythe so i wanted to make it look a little holy if that makes sense like a priest but not i don't know i i wasn't completely sure what i was going with at this time i kind of sketch and see where it goes a lot of times all i knew is i didn't want to um i didn't want to see his eyes so i gave him a mask like an eye mask um and then i wanted to give him kind of like a lace like a little curtain in front of his eyes as well, or even gauze. I haven't really, um, it could just be a sheer fabric as well. I haven't really uh, decided how I'm gonna paint this yet, but I wanted him to be a little bony as well. So I want, I added like the little, uh, I wanted to give him very like prominent cheekbones, um, very bony like neck, shoulders, a little um, skinny, I guess not too broad of shoulders but i i think i end up um editing the shoulders so it's a little bit wider than this because i think it's a little too too narrow at this point i just could not decide how i wanted to draw the pleats or if i wanted it to be like ruffles or anything like that oh and then here i had to actually look up what a human heart looks like because i've never drawn a human heart but i wanted him to be holding a human heart that was still kind of bleeding so i used red just so i can kind of tell it apart from the hands um I'm not going to go with that red for the heart necessarily, but I try to mix up colors when I really want to kind of differentiate what I'm drawing. So sometimes I'll add in blues and whatnot as well. Yeah, and then once I was done drawing the outline of the heart, I made it so it's a little bit faint, so I don't have to focus on it too much. Same thing with the pleats. It's still there. I just have it hidden, so I don't have to worry about it. I can work on the details of the face first. I might end up redoing his mouth. It makes it look like his mouth is like kind of forward. I don't really like that. So I'll probably end up editing. Maybe I'll make his cheekbones bigger. I'm not really sure how I'm going to fix that at this point. But I mean, I think it's not it's not too bad. I think once I add, start adding in color, maybe it'll look different because the lines for the lips is supposed to be like in between the lips, that prominent dark line. So maybe if I paint it, it won't look like the line that I have on his lips is like the top of it or anything. So maybe they'll make it look different. I don't know. Then here I'm just kind of going in to redo the fingers because, yeah, if I leave it like that, I won't know how to paint it. Because it's, it's way too, I don't know, it's way too skinny and it looks like straws. But I, I, I like to think that I'm okay at drawing hands, but sometimes... I just can't figure out how it looks or it might look funny or maybe I draw one finger that's way too fat compared to the other ones or I like to draw them super long so I know like those are really long fingers even co I don't I don't know yeah even comparing with mine they're super long but that's what I'm going for so it works 
I think um, I end up adjusting the size of these later because they're a little too small to my taste. I like them to have pretty big hands. Because I think it makes them look like they're like they have like baby hands and I don't like that. So oh yeah, the wrist issue. I didn't know how to draw this part when like when your hands covering up like the top. I don't I don't I didn't know how to draw this part here without it look. I, I don't know. I still don't know if that looks weird. I can't keep if I keep looking at it, it looks funny. So I just have to ignore it. And then here, I think, yeah, I adjust the shoulders, make it a little bit wider, give him a more um, male like, I guess, uh, shoulder width. And then here, I, I yeah, I made the hands bigger as well to give it a little bit closer to his face. And then here, I'm adjusting the, the little veil thing that he's got going on. Um, yeah, and then I started drawing the, like the back of it to make sure it looks sheer, which I'll end up adjusting that later probably. And then I'm just cleaning up lines here as I go as well. And then here, I didn't really want to know what to do with the hood. Like I didn't know if it if I wanted to um, go with like a, a very light fabric or a very heavy one, because that's something I usually tend to think about as um, as I'm drawing these figures is when I draw clothing or like any kind of fabric, I'm thinking in my mind like, okay, what kind of fabric do I want them to be wearing? Cause it dep depending on that, I'll draw like the, um, I guess the wrinkles a little bit differently or maybe it flows differently around the body kind of thing. So I still don't really know what fabric I'm gonna go with for the hood, but hopefully I'll figure that out by the time I'm painting. And this, like, I didn't know if I want to give him, like, a crown or, like, a helmet or whatever is going on. I, didn't, I ended up not liking it, so I, I scrapped it. But, and then I thought, okay, maybe I'll just give him, like, another fabric that he's he has over his head. Um, just give him, like, kind of more layers, more depth. Um, and I ended up going with that. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if that's what I'm going to go with at the end. But, and then the whole, like... I'm not really sure if this like T thing he has on his head is something I'll end up sticking with. I do want to do something more with a hood though. I don't want it to just be like, oh, he has like, I don't know, a bed sheet over his head. So I might end up make, maybe I'll make it lace. That might be, that's one idea I had. Or maybe I might change it so it's not completely like straight across his eyebrows, but um, uh, maybe it's hanging over the veil a little bit more. Because, you know, with a uh, certain lace, it's cut. It's, it's not like straight. The edges aren't straight. They tend to be kind of like um, jagged, not jagged, but like it's got like a triangle, like a bunch of triangles on the outside, or it could be diamond shaped. I mean, it kind of depends on what kind of lace you're going for. But I might end up doing that. Or another idea I had was um, go for something that looks a little bit like ruined, like old. So it's got holes and it's a little ratty and it's got like pieces of like string hanging off of it and stuff like that. I might go with that too, but I haven't really decided on that. It's just kind of a rough sketch first um, first draft of what I want to end up going for. The whole raise behind him, um, and I think I'm gonna end up doing um, making them in red, but that's, like I said, color palette hasn't really been decided. Um, all I know is I started drawing blood on his hands just to make sure that I remember that it's gonna be bleeding. And I thought maybe it'll make it look a little bit more gothic than, um, cause if you don't add any color, oh crap. Uh, if, if I don't add any color, it's gonna make it look like, um, he's like he's like some holy person. That's not what I was going for. I do wanna give him a more pale uh, skin tone as well. Make it look like he's not, he doesn't have too much blood running through his veins. Um, I'll probably end up going for like a purple, purple color palette for his clothing, um, like purple lace, purple veil kind of thing, and then a bluish gray uh, skin tone. And then for the heart, I'm thinking of going for like a deeper red and pinks as well, because I'll have to I'll have to actually look up what a human heart color looks like, because I don't think I've ever seen it in real life. This is the first time I even had to look it up and I felt really weird looking up like, what does a human heart look like when it's still bleeding? Like, okay, that's a little weird. But yeah, that's kind of uh, the thought process I had while I was drawing these. It's a lot of a lot of erasing, a lot of redoing, a lot of like resizing as well. Um, it's definitely not like, a, oh, I did this in 10 minutes kind of thing. It's, it's a very like half a day kind of process for me, especially since I'm a very indecisive person when it comes to clothing, especially so. 
And I, I don't even know if I'm going to leave him naked because he's naked right now. But I might give him a top. I'm not too sure about that either. But that's a whole nother thing because I'll have to think about fabrics and what kind of outfit he's wearing as well. So this is the first one. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you guys have any questions, please uh, send them on Discord. Uh, if you want me to cover anything specific or for the next one or if there's something um, that you guys are, I guess, looking for. Yeah. Thanks, guys.